Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today is a big day and one that people have been waiting for and asking for for years. Ubiquity just announced their new Unify UNAS Pro. It's a rack mounted NAS, which stands for Network Attached Storage. Yay. Um, they reached out to me and offered to send me one, not only for review, but to be a tester on it and provide feedback. I've actually had it for a few months now. And I, I must say, just like the rest of my Unify gear, it hasn't skipped a beat. I've not needed, it's not crashed. I've not needed to reboot it other than software updates. It's been amazing. Now, as a photographer, I'm always increasing my storage needs and needing more and more storage. External hard drives are not the answer. I don't wanna look through a drawer of hard drives, plugging them in, trying to find the right photos. I needed a NAS, uh, a network attached storage device, and I've used several different ones over the years. And if you've been following my channel and my blogs for the past couple of years, you know that I've become a big fan of Unify networking gear from Ubiquity. Unify solved several networking problems that I was having with their rock solid gear. And once, and for once in many years, I no longer have to think about my network day to day because it just works. And that's what I want in the network. I don't want to think about, oh, is it time to reboot the router? Oh, this isn't performing well. Oh, is it time? Like, it just, I go literally, I, I never think about it. I just go for months and months and months of just rock solid networking and Wi-Fi and connectivity and file transfers that just work. So this is not a paid review. I just wanna make that clear. It might sound like one, but it's not. And there's no sponsorship. I just love their products. And uh, if you follow my channel, I've been YouTubing since 2007. I always talk about products I love. I don't talk, if someone wants to send me something and I don't, I don't like it or I'm not the use, user for it, I'm not gonna review it. I'm not gonna take it because I don't, I want to talk about things just to talk about things. I want to talk about things that are cool that I actually want to use. So with that said, what is the UNAS Pro? It's an amazingly simple network attached storage device that is designed to work seamlessly in the Unifier environment. It offers multi gigabit file transfer speeds thanks to its built in 10 gigabit SFP plus port. Since it's rack mountable, it fit right into my existing network rack for easy setup in my server closet. Speaking of easy setup, it doesn't get any easier to set up, the, set up a NAS than the UNAS Pro. Most creators are not network IT professionals, and they need reliable hardware that's easy to install, set up, and maintain. I was up and running literally in a few minutes, and that was just in and of itself, I was in awe of how easy the process was. I mounted it in my, my server closet in the rack. It has seven drive bays, which you can install. You need to install probably at least two. Uh, you can install your hard drives in. They could be regular drives or SSDs. Um, the trays are included, of course, and they just clip in. You don't, I don't think you really need, you don't need any tools for it. You just plug them in and they work. Um, and next you connect your network cable and the power and that's it. Um, then you fire up the Unify app on your phone and adopt the UNAS Pro. Now, just like all the other Unify gear. The only task remaining at this point is to go to the Unify site manager page in your browser and add your users in uh, shared folders and configure your SMB um, connectivity options. Now existing Unify users will be right at home since the layout of the management UI is very similar to the rest of the Unify product line. Also, unlike any other NAS I've used, you can continue working with it while the drives are being initialized and optimized. Depending on the number of drives you install and their capacity, this could take a while, but there was no downtime. Like I was like, wait, wait, isn't it configuring and processing and, and making the raid? Like, isn't it doing that? Don't have to wait for that to finish? No, you can keep going. Now, obviously you need to wait for it to finish to get optimum speed, but as far as working with it, getting everything set up and even starting to copy some files over, that worked fine the minute it was up and running. So I added six eight terabyte drives, leaving the seventh bay open for a future expansion. And this gives me a total, total usable space or capacity of 39.96, basically 40 terabytes, as some is always kept in reserve in case of a drive failure. That's the whole point of a RAID and a NAS like this, is that uh, unlike a single drive, if it dies, then you gotta go to your backup and you gotta start all over again. If a NAS drive crashes, you literally, oh, you get a notification, you buy the new drive, you pop the old one out, you pop the new one in, and you, you're never down, you just keep working. 
So once I got everything set up, I was anxious to get it mounted on my desktop and copy some files over. I'm already familiar with mounting SMB NAS volumes on my Mac or Windows machines. Uh, however, Ubiquity has also added support for the UNAS Pro in their, their Unify Identity app, both on mobile and desktop. This app makes it even easier to connect to um, uh, connect to the NAS, UNAS Pro with a simple menu bar option or right on your phone to get to your files uh, on the go. Now, I have, a, I have my Mac Finder Prep set to show mounted servers. Note that this is off by default for some reason from Apple. So if you were to connect it, you wouldn't see it on your desktop unless you go change that setting. Um, and that's kind of weird. But anyway, uh, once I, once I, uh, of course, I've already had that on. Once I connected it, boom, it mounted right on the desktop and was ready to use. It's really that simple. And speaking of Mac OS, Mac users will be happy to know that there's an option to set this up as your time machine backup over the network. That's right. Back up all your Macs to the UNAS Pro. That's pretty cool too. Just an added bonus right there in the configuration. It's literally turn it on and that's it. Assign passwords, done. So another cool option. Any users that you've uh, configured and access and given access to can access the UNAS, same UNAS Pro on the network, same files, same shared folders, and they also get their own personal folder. And as an added bonus, there's even a feature that lets you share files with others with unique links. So in other words, people outside your network, people outside your home or office. Um, so after my Dropbox subscription expires at the beginning of next year, I may not need it anymore because I'm looking at what I use Dropbox for, and a lot of it's just sharing files and folders with other people when I complete projects or videos that I need them to um, download and take a look at. I can do that all from the UNAS Pro now. Uh, the transfer speeds were on par with other NAS units I've used over a 10 gigabit connection. If you don't have a 10 gigabit network switch, no worries. There's also a one gigabit ethernet port. Now, this is, uh, this is where it's time for some criticism. I would have liked to have seen them add a 2.5 gigabit ethernet port instead of the one gigabit ethernet port. It's 2024, almost 2025. Uh, I just feel like new networking gear should now, especially for something like a NAS, should start at 2.5 gigabits. Um, so 2.5 and 10 would have been my preferred configuration. Now, the next thing that comes to mind is backup and snapshots because, uh, you know, the, we've gone over the great easy parts. Configure, simple, copy files over, great, speed, awesome. Now, let's talk about backing that data up. The next thing that comes to mind, of course, is backup and snapshots. UNAS Pro features a built-in snapshots feature that allows you to schedule automatic snapshots of your data. Uh, and this way you can revert the system back in case of a disaster or a hack. Now, this is not a backup, but it's the next best thing. In terms of actual backing up, uh, the UNAS Pro offers three options, three ways to back it up. You can back it up simply to another NAS, and that's what I may end up having to do. You can back up to a CIFS or slash SMB server that's local or remote. And lastly, you can also back up important files to Google Drive. Now, I say important files instead of the whole thing because I think Google Drive limits you to the, like the most you can buy is two terabytes. I could be wrong on that, but that's what I saw when I checked. Now, uh, this is an area, this is another area where I could see room for improvement where I hope that Ubiquity adds more options for especially for cloud um, backups in the future. I would love to take advantage of the cheap cloud storage out there from companies like Google and Amazon to back up offsite. I believe that your important data should always be in at least three places, which includes a local and remote backup, and of course the data itself. Since there is no USB port on the UNAS Pro, maybe that could be another future option, uh, I can't just plug in a big cheap external drive and back up to that. So I'd have to get a second NAS to back, up, back it up locally, um, and then there's still the need for an offsite solution. So working on that. But anyway, uh, that is those are the backup options that are available today. Now, again, that could change in the future, but today that's what it is. Now, you might also be wondering how this stacks up from other popular NAS systems out there that offer the ability to run applications and other services. UNAS Pro doesn't currently have an application platform. It 
it's simply not their focus. They focused on creating an easy to set up, use, and maintain NAS for creators, businesses, and homes. The UNAS Pro is definitely a NAS I'd recommend to any Unify user that has those needs. Now, this is the part that's like, are you kidding me? It can't be right. The price is only $499 for the UNAS Pro, which is pretty incredible considering it's a 7-bay rack-mounted NAS with a built-in 10 gigabit SFP Plus port and a 1 gigabit Ethernet port as well. I don't know that I've seen a NAS with those features in that price range. Normally, those are the smaller ones that don't have as many bays and don't have 10 gigabit built, built in. So, and definitely aren't rack mounted. So, um, kudos, <laughs> Ubiquity, you guys hit it out of the park, especially on price. So, I put a link to the UNAS Pro in the description. And um, now that the cat is out of the bag, I can also record my network tour that I've been promising people for like a year. I didn't want to show it because it was going to, I couldn't like show the video without showing the NAS. So now it's in my rack and I can now show that. I can get that tour scheduled and get it recorded. Be sure to like and subscribe this video as well as turn on notifications so that when I do these type of reviews, you'll see them first. And of course, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye everybody, happy networking. Way to go, Ubiquity. The UNAS Pro is a hit. Cheers everyone, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye everybody.